rock steady at King of the Pit TV. There's rock steady at King of the Pit TV, track 10 of 14. We're listening to Superfuzz Big Muff, the full album by Mud Honey. This one's entitled The Rose. Shout out to my man Gary who recommended this via Patreon. It is what it is. He's put me on some good music. Let's go. This one's The Rose. I think this is the lowest view count we've had on one of these songs. I wonder why. I wonder why. This was on the Sub Pop 200 compilation. This is how Betty Midler did it before she sold out. Who's that? Is it a cover? Is this a cover song? It's not Kiss of a Rose, I'll tell you that. I don't tend to care for the cover songs I'm not aware of purely as I don't know if they do it justice or not. I bet you the guitars didn't sound like that if it is a cover though, on the original. We've got Green River in the related, oh, actually uploaded by the Mud Honey channel, so there we go. That answers our question from the earlier as far as the vocalist being the same. Most definitely. I assume so, unless they're very alike. It's a cool album cover, isn't it? Is that the original album cover or is that a revisit? Come on. Buzz Central, eh? Come on. So was that a cover song? It was a bit odd and the view count was quite low on that one, so potentially it was. There was definitely something different about it. I mean, what do I have to comment about that? If you're watching this video, um, if you're watching this series song by song, uh, you're in luck because I'm actually going to do a second uh, tune. I'm going to do Hate the Police coming up next, um, which still is quite, quite an edgy title for what we've had so far. So maybe even this one's a cover as well. We'll have to find out. Uh, 92k view, so a lot more. Yeah, I can't comment too much on that last one because I don't know if I know the original. 
One of their best songs, all right? Damn, they actually said it, says Gravity Bookings. Defund them, says Michael. Stick to the original, far better. Okay, okay, who did the original, says Andrew Edwards. The Dicks, all right, the Dicks. So we got a little bit of a punk rock do coming up. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Two covers in one, hate the police. I ain't heard the original. More my cup of tea. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what? Did he say what I thought he said? Because I've been listening out to someone, because that, comp uh, that comment just says, uh, what is it? Uh, damn, he really said it, or damn, they actually said it, or something. I was looking at the lyrics and going, whoa, they said the full thing. They're fine, though, because it fits the context of the song. Yeah, you know what I mean. If it, was was that what they were on about, or am I mishearing something here? Because I was paying attention to see if I was gonna hear something. It's just like it's not that offensive, is it? Purely, as it's in the context of the song, like it it, it makes complete sense, doesn't it? Right. Maybe I misheard. Who knows? Then again, who am I to get offended at that? Eh? Come on. There you go. I've actually seen the t-shirt, which is the dicks hate the police, um, which I, I think is more popular than the actual band's music because I've never heard any punk rocker around me, anyone into hardcore as such, really rate the dicks, to be honest with you. Maybe it's just the test of time, sort of didn't, didn't do them any favors. Uh, no doubt, historical pioneering figures, so. It is what it is. If you want me to check that band out, I'm more than happy to do so. You know what I mean? If there's still a market for that, I'm sure there is. I've heard them referenced enough, I've just never delved into them. This one, you got it. Keep it out of my face in brackets. Let's keep going onwards and upwards, people. Let's go.